Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're playing Engineered to Purpose. So, so yeah, one of the game developer for this game actually reached out. So thank you to uh, Confidence Roll Games. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, you like to play the tutorial? So that, yeah, so the game dev actually reached out and was like, hey, could you play the game? You know, I mean, if you're interested, of course, would you, do you mind? I was like, yeah, sure. I took a look at their the announcement trailer and things like that for their game. So this is a pretty, like, it's such a sick looking game. I highly recommend you guys go check out their uh, their YouTube channel and check out the game uh, when it is when it is fully released. It's coming out March 12th on Steam. So yeah. So ugh, where am I? Why can't I move? Father, mother, where are you? Oh. The child is awake. The process was successful. Oh, okay. Father's looking a little creepy. Oh, mother's not looking much better. The attachment was much more violent than I had envisioned. Did you do something to me? Why are you ignoring me? I'm sorry, honey. We're not ignoring you. We're just having an adult discussion. Uh, we must hurry. The child needs to interface with the field right away. Now, now. These things can't be rushed. Give us a moment, father. We need to do a quick lesson. Honey, it may take some time to get used to your new interfaces. Take a moment to explore your expanded senses and the world we have brought you to. Okay, rotate the camera with right clicking and dragging. Oh my gosh. The mother and the father look really weird. Zoom the camera by scrolling. At least I finally have a father, I guess. That was a bad joke. Okay, move the camera by left clicking and dragging or by using WSD and keyboard. Okay. Begin creating your tower now by selecting design. Oh, wait. Okay. Whoa, click on the attack slot. You get to... Ch oh, my gosh. You get to customize the towers? These are the modifiers that are available for this specific tower. Each type of modifier enhances your tower in a different way. Adding modifiers use up a tower's points. Add modifiers now until there are no points remaining. So then and you could just... Like, okay... Damage per... Oh, wait. To a max of... Oh. It kind of sounds boring, but I'm kind of thinking of just going for one of each. Even though that is kind of boring, I think that's probably the best way to... You know what? We're, we're going we're gonna to go that route. Name and save your tower to lock in your choices. Um... What should I name it? I mean, Fred. Build your new tower, it will protect you. Okay, come on, Fred. I need to show you something. Look over here. Okay. Looking over here, there's a lot of shaking. Oh, there's a lot of shaking. This is where your targets will come from? Okay, they will move along the path. You can review their route at any time by hovering over the spawner. I've tried to reach the machine, but you must stop them. Enough damage in the machine will fail, likely killing you in the process. Okay. Whenever you feel ready, you may call them. Remember that I will stay with you and support you through this. Okay. I thought this was one of the, like, targets we had to kill. I, I, I was like, we are not beating that thing. But it's a good thing it's just a spawner. Whenever you're ready, start spawning by clicking the button on the top of the spawning queue. Okay. Let's take a look at how Fred does. Terrestrial avatar with average movement and health, but the most common avatar available. Okay. So we're going to have Fred here. Who's going to gain more damage per kill up to a max of 3.3. So he's going to deal more damage as time goes on. When an avatar is destroyed, its energy is gathered in by the machine. If you save up enough energy, you can build new towers or upgrade or upgrade your existing ones. Oh wait, so can I edit it and like add more stuff to it? Or I guess we'll figure it out later.
So yeah, I mean, eventually he's gonna, like, be just as good as, like, if I were to have added, like, damage, like, two damage buffs to it, right? I think so. Increase, increase for every five. Damage can be incremented, increased this way up to three times. Okay. Star is glowing, that means that you can afford to upgrade it. To upgrade this tower, you can find the available upgrades by selecting it. Ah, increase overall damage or increase. increase uh, let's go with that. Make him just attack fast. Okay. So this is like the base tower, but I can decrease the recharge. Okay, a, a solidly built terrestrial avatar with high health and reduced speed deals additional damage on impact. Okay. Well, hopefully he won't be too much of a problem then. Uh, to modify points to customize attacks and determine what targeting schemes you're targeting. Okay. Ah, and whenever that thing, that little bar at the bottom fills up, that means it's destroyed. It, uh, a unit's going to be destroyed. Okay. That's pretty handy information to have. Yeah, his damage is no longer increasing, but... Good work, honey. You beat them. The machine has collapsed enough data, or collected enough data to fabricate a, fabricate a new weapon design. Jeez. This will hurt, but only for a moment. Be brave. Ah, get burned. <laughs> well done, honey. Now we need to move to the next phase of the process. Booting the, the program now. Okay. I guess we're going on to the next one. Oh. This is the extractor, a place where new components can be discovered. This area indicates how many stars you currently have and can use for unlocking new components. This area holds all of the components that you can use for your tower designs. Some are available now, some can be unlocked using your stars, and others are currently unavailable. This section contains new component designs that you unlock for free as you make, prog uh, make progress. The laser is now available, click it now to extract it. Okay. So, new component has been extracted. I think the one thing that I'm starting to learn from this is that the developer, originally, he was like, okay, this isn't really a roguelike, or it really has a roguelike game mode. But this game does have roguelite aspects to it. Which is all of this stuff here. If you can unlock things outside of the immediate playthrough so like if you if, if you go through a level and you earn some sort of resource that can be used outside of that level to make future levels you know easier or you know whatever then that's a rogue light aspect to it just i just wanted to make that point clear now that has been extracted, this component will always be available to you for your tower designs. If you want to return here over time, it will be difficult to make progress without gaining access to new components. Yeah. So, yeah. So, by unlocking new components, and obviously new weapons, and apparently new core? Yeah. Upgrading your core, upgrading your, or getting converters, I guess. So this is all the rogue light part of the game. Just wanted that to be known. Okay. Uh, navigation. Okay. Wait, how do I get... Is there a way to get three stars? No. Okay. And then use the capacitor five times. Okay. I'm going to say any towers in your inventory. One, two, three, two. Nope. Okay, hold on. Add tower. Okay, um, Fred. Um. Okay, I guess we're sticking with Fred. Can I, can I, I mean, if I build a new tower, right? Can I do that? What is the extractor? Oh, the extractor is that part. Okay, never mind. Okay.
Let's go. We got Fred. Oh. Game frozen. Okay, we're good. This is surreal. I feel like there's a, a hole in my mind. Can I stop now, please? A uh, field stable with an all, uh, within optimal projection. We can proceed with confidence. Child, you have done well. Mother, I leave the next stage to you. Leaves. Always so methodical. Never any time for softies. Okay. Or nonsense, I think that said. I, okay. I, I think I'm dyslexic. How are you feeling, honey? We ant anticipated that the procedure would be uncomfortable. Why are you hurting me? You taught me, you taught me we are too advanced for torture. This is not torture. We are due. You will understand in time. Just try to move past the pain, honey. For now, focus. We now design and use up to six slots for towers. Oh. Once you've started spawning, you cannot unload from your inventory. Quick design and start creating your new tower now. Components are used to determine the base of your tower. Choose all three of the required components for the tower. Okay. Ah, the laser fires a beam of energy, dealing more damage until its next recharge. Uh, let's go with blaster. So for primary generator and primary detector. And then these are modifiers. I mean, we basically, you know what? Let's let's make him a primary laser. Oh, that changes all modifiers. Okay. Ah, firing duration. Oh. The firing duration is going to increase the damage damage of it, right? Maybe just we just want like a fast firing. We'll make name him Bob. We got Fred and Bob. This is the capacitor. Over time, it will store up energy, forming charges. Charges of energy can be released by spawning a wave early. You can always spawn waves early, but you will only gain energy if you have charges remaining when you spawn. The capacitor carefully dealing with the extra enemies may be difficult. Look the okay. So let's put Bob somewhere. What is this thing? Okay. Right. Let's put Bob here. Or no, we'll put put Bob here so he can hit two of the tracks. Okay. Can I just use the capacitor now? Put another Bob down. Put a Bob right there. Um, oh, okay. I have to wait for this thing to fill up. Okay, that makes sense. Because only by letting it fill up does it actually do something. Got it. Let's put Fred down. Put this in, like, three times speed. Why not? Okay, things might be going a little crazy. It's over... Uh... Go with attack duration. Okay. 
Things are not going too well. Let's go with more damage. Which isn't usually what I would go for. But I think that's what I probably need right now. There's nothing dying. Okay, there's still more... More space. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I, I'm, I'm learning now. I'm learning now. I want to get three. I want to get three stars. I want to get three stars. Okay, 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 okay. Right. So we got Bob and Fred. Oh wait. Okay, it restarts. Every, oh, that's okay. We've already gone through that. We already. Okay. Well, we already. Okay. Well, just load Bob. Um, I think I'm terrified. Okay, well, okay, okay. Uh, okay, so we're gonna put Fred here. Let's put two Freds. Reason being that the fret the Freds are gonna increase in damage, like with time. So like I feel like they're gonna do better. And then we'll have this guy back here to kinda clean up whatever whatever doesn't immediately get destroyed. Come on, come on. Destroy him, destroy him, destroy him, okay. Please, please, please. No, 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 no. No. We took some damage, but it's fine. It's fine. Let's just increase our damage. Okay. I do like this movement system, though, to just be able to easily move things around. I'll have to try again sometime in the future to do a little bit better, I guess. Go with faster shooting for this guy. Maybe having... Bob down would have been better at some point. I don't know. I really was hoping we wouldn't take any damage, though. Also, do they have to... I don't... I don't... No, they don't have to, like, to keep... Sh okay, never mind. I was gonna say something stupid. Never mind. Ignore me. Okay, so yeah, we got... We got... We got two stars for that. I, I definitely could have done better, but it's fine. Go to the simulator. This space is virtual. A testing chamber you can use to design your towers. You will need to innovate here to succeed in what is to come. To begin, start by creating a new tower design. Go with the laser. 
Okay. Okay. Um. Open this and make you open it. Okay. Show this new tower against some simulated enemies. Open select waves to proceed. Oh, that will kill. Okay, do you use towers created here? You have to save them before leaving. Still design new towers and level. That's all for now. When you are ready, you may leave this place. Okay. Let's go through. Let's go to the extractor. Uh. Give us the modifiers. Oh, okay. Oh. Advanced blaster, okay. Oh wait, oh yeah, save. Okay. So now we have an advanced blaster. So we could go to Fred. Do we have to, can we edit him? Or do we have to delete him? Okay, guess we have to delete Fred. Oh, um, that's fine. I guess, I guess you, because it does say you design it in levels, so I guess you have to do, I mean, I guess I could have done it in the, in the thing as well, but it's fine. So it does increase the cost of it, but you get more modifiers, it looks like. Customize attacks and determine how many... Separate attacks and character support. Okay. So we can have more projectiles, and we'll do this, and then we'll do that. Oh, uh, Fred 2. Point, oh, Fred. Fred 2. We have Fred 2. Um, let's put Fred 2 here, I guess. What were the things for this level? I don't remember. It doesn't say it in the menu. Um. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Go three times speed. You see, now he's able to just one-shot them. Small, efficient terrestrial avatar with minimal health, which often appear in large numbers. Okay. Let's get, um, wait, let's just upgrade him. Increase the recharge, I guess. Okay. Um, send it early. So we get a little bit of money for it as well. Dang, he is just, he's shredding them through them. Definitely want to probably definitely want to increase the damage though. So we can better deal with like stronger uh, units. Oh wait, no damage is taken and level completed. Oh, it says it right at the bottom. I'm stupid. How did I never notice that? Okay, well, let's put another Fred down just in case. I mean, this guy's already buffed up enough, so... So yeah, it seems like Fred is, uh, Fred 2 is pretty, pretty strong. Nice! The bomber launches arcing explosive towards its targets, so we could we could unlock the bomber. Interfere with enemy movement. Ooh, inaccessible until 
early until after early access. Okay. Maximum ramp levels. destroyed by you. Okay. Then maybe we want to go for the core. Uh... generator. Save it. Okay. I think I'm going to do one more level and then I'm going to call it here for this playthrough of this. But yeah, I mean, definitely have to go continue playing this more in the future. This is actually a pretty sick game. It does have a roguelite aspect to it, so I'm, I'm happy about that. If we miss much, I'd so hate to miss any major events. Don't be incent- Don't be- how are you, little one? Are you feeling well? Sister, brother, help me. This hurts. Okay, so... Am I wrong, or... Does he not really look like the others? Like, at all? Like... Am I missing something about how he looks? It's like, he does not really look like them. At all. Um... Help me, this hurts so bad, and mother and father won't stop it. They won't even tell me what I did wrong. Honey, no, this isn't a punishment. Please, you have to stay calm. You and father have chosen not to explain anything. By my calculations, it's a mistake. You're going to change the plan then, uh, unilaterally? Don't you dare. This is too de delicate, too important for you to just... Anyway, worry not, little one. We're here with you now. We will get through this together. But you won't help me. What is happening? Why are you all doing this to me? Okay, little one, tell you what. Get through this next integration, I'll explain things, okay? Fine, but you better not be lying. I can't, <laughs> I can't watch this, I'm leaving. So, I mean, it, it's, I mean, I guess robots have, um, brief it to, okay. It seems like robots now have, uh, feelings? Is that what I'm learning from this? Robots actually do have feelings? Oh wait, they can have- they can have in a second attack? Oh, that's sick! Okay. Go with, uh... Oh! So you can have one attack that does something, and then another attack that does something else. Oh, that's so cool! I feel like that basically does... ...what I would do with just this. So, I'm gonna just do this. And... I feel like we're... ...we're gonna be fine with just... ...the one attack for now. Red. I feel like at some point I'm gonna need to get a little bit more, uh, um, what's the word? More, I can't even think of what, what's the word? More, uh, more, my gosh, why can't I think of what the word is? When you're, when you're, when you're not, oh, more creative. There we go. See, I'm not, I think that just shows I'm not a creative person. I can't even think of what the word is to, to, to describe what a creative person is. I 
put this guy there? Okay, let's, yeah, let's decrease his recharge time. So he shoots a little bit faster. By a little bit, I mean a lot faster. <laughs> I probably don't really need this guy here, but I am here just in case. I'm a, uh, I'll leave him, I'll leave him. You probably want to increase this guy's attack, though. Which is, that costs 470. Oh, never mind, okay. I mean, I'm just winning anyways. Okay, let's take a look at the extractor, see what we have available to us now. Um... That gives us another modifier point. I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna go for it. Okay, well, I think that's gonna be it for today's video of Engineered to Purpose. Um, this is actually a really sick game, so I'm very much so uh, looking forward to playing this game more. Um, there's only 10 levels, so we'll kind of play through the rest of these, and I'm gonna try to and probably in the next video, go back and get my three stars on this one, because I definitely deserve it. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Uh, make sure you subscribe to, um, to Confident, Com the Confident Roll Games as well. Um, subscribe to their YouTube channel. And like I said at the beginning, uh, make sure you check out the game, uh, Engineered to Purpose. Uh, check it out March 12th when it comes out. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.